Typhoon Rai. Typhoon Rai, also known in the Philippines as Typhoon Adet, was a powerful and deadly tropical cyclone that struck the Philippines. Since NOC 10 in 2016, Rai became the first Category 5 equivalent super typhoon to form in December. Rai had entered the Philippine area of responsibility by the night of December 14, and the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, Pagasa, had given it the name Adet Rai became a Category 5 super typhoon when it approached the Philippines just before it was about to make landfall on Siargao. As it moved across the Visayas, it progressively weakened before exiting into the Sulu Sea. Rai weakened after making landfall over Palawan before re-intensifying as a Category 5 equivalent typhoon as it approached Vietnam on December 18. Heavy rainfall and strong, gusty winds wreaked devastation on different sites along Rai's path as it slammed into the Philippines. In the Visayas and Mindanao, several provinces and areas lost power, and several provinces and areas lost communication services. Many roads were blocked by fallen trees, and flooding was a major concern in the affected areas, particularly in Bohol, where the storm was considered one of the worst in the province. In Cagay and Oro, rivers flooded, causing damage to a number of properties. Surigao City was reported to be completely devastated, prompting a call for help. Due to the devastation right caused in the area, Bohol also appealed to the government for aid. The province of Cebu and the city of Cebu have been declared disaster zones. So far, 400 people have died, the majority of those are from Bohol, the hardest hit island. Typhoon Rai impacted about 3 million people directly, resulting in widespread power outages and water shortages, as well as the total isolation of several areas from relief operations for a week after the disaster. Winds gusted to over 185 km per hour or 115 miles per hour in the southwestern part of the country, sometimes reaching even as strong as 270 km per hour or 168 miles per hour. Highways, as well as basic infrastructure like ports and airports, were affected. Another concern is a lack of electricity, which results in a lack of access to water and communication. Water refilling stations in Cebu City, which has been hit by power outages, had to rely on generators to filter potable water, causing delays and shortages. According to local media, many convenience stores and supermarkets were out of water, and street vendors were selling bottles at inflated prices. Long lineups were also seen outside gas stations. The Philippines president has declared a state of calamity in the affected areas, allowing local governments to impose price caps on essential commodities such as water and get access to emergency resources. Many municipal governments have already exhausted their annual funds dealing with the COVID pandemic, which has hampered efforts to provide assistance. The Philippines is especially vulnerable to natural disasters, with around 20 typhoons and storms hitting the country each year. Rai struck the country at a very late date, as most cyclones develop between July and October. According to preliminary assessments 159,842 homes have been damaged, with 61,918 homes completely destroyed. In some areas, the damage is far worse than that caused by Super Typhoon Haiyan, the Philippines' deadliest cyclone ever. It hit the country in November 2013, killing or leaving around 7,360 people dead or missing.
Farmers, fishermen, and tourism operators have all been devastated by Typhoon Rai, which caused havoc on the Philippines' southern and central regions. While 23,000 hectares of rice land have been damaged, with 12,750 farmers affected so far, according to preliminary estimates. Damage of this magnitude is likely to cost more than $67 million.